Okay, hi, I'm Pikri. Hi, I'm Shafi. Hi, I'm Husaini. And we are from Grammarlex. So basically, uh, we did our degree in the UK. So we met, uh, we met there. Uh, however, we were from a different uni university. I was with Shafiq uh, at the University of Manchester and Fikri studied uh, at, the, at University College London. So there was this one event, Malaysian event. So we met there. Yeah. So after that, we became close. And then after graduation in Malaysia, we stayed, we stayed together in KL. So from there, actually, we started thinking of uh, doing business. And it was two years back until it happened three months ago. We planned the thing and finally uh, it, it happened in October. Yeah. So. Thinking of doing a uh, business in FMP especially and we were brainstorming the idea and at that point of time we were thinking of doing granola because uh, I think in Malaysia it is not that well common, known yeah. or common yet so that's why we are thinking oh why not we make granola and people want something instant something that can give them energy and get all the nutrients that they need so I think it is uh, it, it, it was a good idea so that's why we just proceed with it and start granola uh, as what Shafiq and Musai said uh, so the idea came around like two Two years ago, yeah, 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 two years ago, and then it never actually get started from there. Uh, and then it just so happened that uh, I think in June, yeah, so I think in June, like uh, my mom went for a, a medical checkup and she found out that she had a high level of cholesterol, so she had to cut down all this nasi champo and then she had to stop taking rice for some reason so she started taking oats day by day and I felt that you know, it, it can become too uh, boring at some point because like, you just mix oats and oats and milk every single day so who could actually stand there for a very long period of time so I started making granola so add more flavor to it and then uh, in August, I think, so these two guys contacted me and then said that, oh, we actually wanted to uh, start uh, granola at back. So I said, oh, I see. And coincidentally, I was developing recipe for my mom. So it just like happened coincidentally, I guess. Yeah. Basically, um, we started discussing this from two years back, but we never really like do anything from that. But uh, actually, in September is when everything like full force. So uh, we started having our office in uh, September, and then we start creating our recipes based on uh, Fitri's own recipe uh, when he was dealing with his mom. <laughs> yeah. So uh, everything basically started from there. We wanted to start um, granolas like in a kiosk, in a shopping mall. But then uh, there was MCO and then we, we budgeted the cost and it turns out to be like a lot more than what we expected. So we think that maybe going online is the best way for now until we are actually there then only we go kiosk and do outlets, you know. So uh, from there, we started looking for like um, places and we, we, we've been to a few places that actually we went to Bangsa and then some places in PJ, some in KL as well, Center KL. But then uh, we, when we come, when Fikri come to Cook House, uh, he found out that everything is uh, just nice here, like what we needed uh, this year. I think one of the advantages of Cook House is that uh, Cook House has all that free equipment so uh, because we know that somehow or uh, at that point of time maybe this business will grow bigger in the future so you want something that can cater up to that size 
So that's why in cook house we have all these industrial scale equipment. So that's why we think that okay, this is actually a perfect uh, place for us to start with. So uh, what I did uh, is basically uh, since I don't have any physical classes as been now, so I'll be in the kitchen during the day and uh, read on articles or research papers uh, in the evening or after work. And uh, let's say if I need to attend any online classes, then I'll just go upstairs. Luckily, Cook House has an office space, so I can just go upstairs and then listen to the lecture. To me, it's a very fun place to work. Because <laughs> like, uh, I mean, not just imagine that we are having different residents or having different businesses at the same time, but all of us are actually very supportive and we try to support each and everyone's business in the kitchen. And apart from that, well, I think that Cook House has a very positive community. So especially in terms of developing our new flavor, developing recipes, so that all of us will give a feedback. And I think that is somehow really helpful because like uh, we could not just like send our jars to anyone and then like give, uh, I mean like receive feedback from them, right? So what we could do is like just have a, a, few, friends a, a few friends in Cook House and then just like try and give their feedback and comments. And from there we can actually improve our product and and also the staff right they are really friendly yeah so and all the staffs here are very friendly so like we feel so like all of us are friends here i guess so like normally during our free time we will just like go to other station and just have like a quick chat and then just joking around so it is a very fun place to work with yeah, we thought they're nice. And <laughs> going to be giving advice, I, I think I, I have two advices. First is, don't put limitation on yourself. Second is, uh, yeah, you have to try it. But you have to give it a try. Then only you know what you're going to do. Yeah. Uh, I think for us, when, when we look back at how we started, if we tried this two years ago, right? It will be like almost the same as what we are right now. Like there's nothing much that has changed um, from back then until now. So so what I would say is like when you have something in mind, just go for it. Like I think uh, once you are in the, the process, you will fully trust the process. And when you already give your all into the into the business, you'll find out that you will do everything that you can so that it will flourish, yeah. Uh, we are just doing in KL and Selangmo, right? And everything is uh, like fully assembled in a jar. But in the future, we are thinking of maybe uh, try to distribute it a bit further out from KL and Selangmo and we are trying to do like, uh, you know, do-it-yourself kit or something like that so that people outside there can actually taste our product just to make sure that we'll have more flavors coming up now we are operating from instagram fully so any orders could be made to the instagram page itself or to the whatsapp there is link to the instagram page.